Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of African boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscriber right now. And also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all. So turn up your and the new exclusive video will definitely be notified. Well, usually I would just say let's get straight to it without hesitation, but this is a deliberate matter, a deliberate issue that we need to definitely break down, talk about, probably go to the beginning. So if you've been a fan of this channel, um, in 2019, I posted this video right here, four years ago, talking about Lewis Lewis hate towards Anthony Joshua, I tattooed it, of course. Anthony Joshua versus Lennox Lewis, the beatdown of a hater demanded by the boxing fans. A lot of people, you know, didn't understand um, what I meant by that. They would say, oh yeah, the, you know, the prime Lennox Lewis would be Anthony Joshua, the, the same Lennox Lewis that got knocked out by Asim Rachma Jr. Let's be right here. Listen. Joshua has his flaws. Joshua, you know, didn't do things right in some fights. But the the disrespect is too much. This is why I don't buy into this British uh, media all of a sudden uh, hype um, about Joshua because I know it's all fake. The British media never liked I think Joshua. They only supported him because he was winning. He was on top. And then he immediately he lost. He started seeing all this bitterness coming from. This is why I like the fact that Joshua realized this. And now that Joshua is back, not fully back yet, but back to being the Joshua that we know. You see, he's not really giving them too much attention like that. He's not giving them a lot of interview like he used to. He's not really he, he's he's figured them out now. Even the guy, guys like Simon, Simon Jordan, that was very, like, basically critical of Joshua, saying Joshua cannot beat Fury. Joshua is not, bro, Joshua is not good. He's not an elite fighter, something like that. You know, he's beginning to change his tone now and say, yeah, yeah. But you know, we know all these things. The British media is the slimest media in boxing. I'm talking about boxing. The British media, when it comes to the British boxing media, or let's say sports, uh, sports media, let's say the sports media is a slime, bro. Those guys change their mind like crazy. Other than one that I know, and that is sport icons. Big up to sport icons. Um, now let's get straight to it. The hate towards Anthony Joshua by Lennox Lewis is alarming, bro. Jo uh, Joshua has been basically underrated, on un un underappreciated by Lennox Lewis since 1905. I will tell you right now the reason. I talked about this four years ago, and I'm going to definitely repeat what I said, and also had muscles to it. When Joshua became um, an Olympic gold medalist. After becoming an Olympic gold medalist, Dennis Lewis was one of the front runners to sign Joshua. He wanted to sign Joshua. He was there when Joshua got the got gold. And now Joshua visited. Joshua Joshua basically entertained the idea of teaming up with Lennox Lewis. He visited Jamaica. He spent time at Lennox Lewis' house in Jamaica. And some somehow Joshua came back, uh, went back to the UK, and then signed with Eddie Hearn. Ever since, it's been a war. Basically, the Lewis never has anything good to say about Joshua. Now, recently, he came out, you know, to showcase his bitterness again, once again, criticizing uh, Joshua. And uh, gonna fight. So, um, uh, <laughs> so this 
so <laughs> it is so it's funny how Lewis can change his tone very easily I would have loved to show his twitch right here but I don't think he deserves it it's not worth it bro now every great little Lewis isn't too happy with Joshua's upcoming shending with um, Francis Ogano it was formally announced earlier this week that London's Joshua will be taking on the former UFC champion and boxing novice in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia on March 8. The crossover event follows on the heels of Ngannou's highly publicized boxing debut in October when the Cameroonian chopped the sporting world with a better than expected performance against WBC titleist Tyson Fury. Ngannou dropped England's Fury early on their 10th round bout and route to a razor close paid decision loss. Legions of viewers insisted that Gano, who had never bossed personally until that fight, deserved to win. But not everyone has been impressed by boxing slide into what some critics call Sacker's fight. Lois, the last ever way to achieve on speed status in the division recently, Lamba said the matchup between Joshua and Gano on the social media. On Gano's fight, Tyson Fury was a spectacular. Lewis wrote in a post on X. The fight with AJ is also spectacular. Hats off to Ogano for making the most of his opportunities. He's done nothing wrong. This is just the Edward division in the year 2024. <clears throat> in my opinion, this fight has zero credibility to AJ's in resume. Lewis said he's supposed to win this fight when he does, but does he gain or learn by beating someone in the second Edward fight? If he loses, then it's an absolute disaster. The same stood for Fury and it almost cost him everything. Lewis has labored a criticism of Joshua in the past, which has prompted the expectation that he is an indiscriminate hater of the former heavyweight at least. Lewis responded to that claim by saying that he only became critical of Joshua after he and his promoter Eddie Hearn failed to do his part to make a fight with Deontay Water years ago when both were state champions. Get off the Eddie Hearn narrative and open your eyes, Lewis wrote in a post. I only became a hater after I criticized them for not making a wider fight. For this period when they had the chance well okay let's let's uh, let's let's just skip this and go to the part of this so okay Eddie hearing how the response right here okay at the end i know this is the promoter and you speaking so i will break it down like the boxing fan i am if aj beats on gano which he should does that elevate him to a shot at undisputed beating wallin on gano there's much better case for the winner of parker zang if AJ gets through Ngano and Usyk wins the disputed, is the appetite for Usyk Joshua 3 out there? If Fury becomes a disputed, the man says he's vacating all bells but WC and ring. So Fury, in if it becomes last on the disputed until someone else can tunnel them back together. I still want to see AJ Fury fight Water. So say AJ fight Fury and Water, those are big fights. Okay, of course, Aaron didn't engage with Lennox Lewis the way he wanted in a way he's been very chaotic in a way I would say that and Lennox Lewis brought a clip of Eddie Hearn um he's beating Deontay was... Wilder Dillian White Derek Chisora do you think he's been managed right yes he's made a lot of money he's featured in WWE but if he was with you would you have done things differently with Tyson Fury yeah, he's going to want to do what he wants to do like what he hasn't done in my opinion is create a legacy that he could have given his ability. A lot of people think I criticise Fury a lot. I actually rate him unbelievably. And I think he would be the favourite against Alexander Usyk. But to be a great, like the reality is, you just said about his heavyweight run as world champion. That's his defences. You can't start talking about him in the same breath as great undisputed champions or legends of the past without beating Usyk, without fighting AJ, without going through every top fighter of that era. So... But I get it, you know, he, he, look, he's, it's, a, it's a money game. He's making a lot of money to fight a bloke that's never boxed before. But he should be fighting Alexander Usyk for a lot more money. But he also understands how tough that fight is. He's not stupid. He knows boxing. But, you know, I feel like he could have the chance to go down as a, as a true grey. And hopefully that's, that's important to him. Listen, we know that Eddie Hearn of Matra Boxing is a very interesting guy in the sense that he can change his tone at any given time let's keep it right here we know it here no matter boxing right but 
Lewis, Lennox Lewis saying that, hey, I became a Joshua Ada after I demanded that the only spirit fight between him and the only water be made. Well, that's not the case. Lewis became an hater of Andre Joshua right from the time Joshua basically neglected. Um, I don't know what it is. I don't say. I don't know if I should say neglect, neglected or Joshua refused to like Joshua refused to, or not said not refused, but Joshua opted to sign with Eddie Hearn instead of instead of him. You know. Because let's keep it real, Joshua was in Jamaica, spent time in Linus Lewis' house with his family and stuff like that. So basically, Lewis expected Joshua to sign with him, you know, after uh, Joshua became um, an Olympic gold medalist. Lewis saw Joshua as a potential revenue source, okay? But it didn't play out the way he imagined it. And ever since, he's been a hater of Joshua and, and he... It, he, he, he started to display it. He began to display that that hatred towards Joshua after, you know, during the the Water Joshua saga, you know, where both fighters, you know, um, the fight went getting made and stuff like that. So, I mean, uh, both team will all just pissing each other off in a way i wish saudi arabia invested in boxing then i think would have seen this seen that fight they would pay they would have paid the money this is why when people say criticize saudi arabia sometimes and say oh, oh they are sports washing they are this bro i don't really care saudi arabia is not promoting they are not forcing you to go to their country okay so every country always portrays itself as a paradise to foreign as facts including european countries britain did that america does that um canada does that you uh, um australia does that netherlands does that like all countries do that apart from countries that don't really that are not economically um endowed like that you know even countries that are tourists that are known no, that is known as that are known as uh, that is known as tourist the evil country are known as tourist destination also portraying your country in a, in, a, in a good light but saudi arabia one is just different because they are really popping pumping money in sports and other activities and in future projects so some people might have problem with that um some people that feel like oh they should have been having this how can you be be like because of the geographical zone that they are that they are looking at you know of course you have to look at the fact that um you know like uh sorry be like um yeah because of the desert stuff like let's just say that you know it's not like um the landscape is not is not is not green like it's not it's not it's not it's not naturally green let's keep it real but they still make the most out of what they have and they overdo themselves and uh, sorry is the only uh, has two holy cities Mecca, Medina. I think even Riyadh is a holy city as well. But Mecca, Medina, Mecca is the most, you know, prestigious one, you know. So now, uh, His Excellency um, Turkey um, said yesterday that they want to get this fight made, that water is not out of the picture. Louis should be happy that this is Louis' chance. This would be Louis' chance to jump into something uh, magnificent. For example, this would be Louis' chance to like, because I heard that Louis, Lewis, Louis has um has some fighters, you know, but we are not seeing them. Those guys should be involved more in boxing. Instead, he's he's he, he, he's involved in boxing to criticize a particular uh fighter, which is Joshua, because he never criticized Tyson Fury. Fury is a champion, fought in Ghana. This guy right here never said anything about it. He never said anything about it. Like anything negative about it. That's the most outrageous thing. But when it comes to Joshua, all of a sudden you have you you you, you, you this guy come comes up from it from uh, from his um um his I don't know his tunnel, you know. And it's bonker 
comes out and st- you know start like questioning every Jewish doors and stuff like that. Listen, it's just, let's see. Turkey has already said the winner of the of the Joshua Ngannou fight will fight the winner of Fury uh, Fury Usyk. Joshua Usyk three will be a big fight. Joshua Fury is a big fight. Joshua Wada is a big fight. All these are big fights. And no one is ruling it out, ruling anything out already. Even Ghana Wada is a big fight as well. Let's keep it real. It's called show business for a reason. It looks like Lewis Lewis would take Joshua's hatred in his grave. Well, it's sad because he's an everywhere great, no doubt. The guy is an everywhere great. I cannot I can't say any I can't I can't dispute the fact. But being a great doesn't mean you're all, all the time right doesn't mean you have to become because let's keep it real the money Joshua made in his first 15 fight okay <laughs> surpassed anything uh, uh, Lewis made throughout his whole career so Joshua can retire now for example and never have to work again while Lewis can't do that those fighters, a lot of them didn't get paid well. I mean, seize the opportunity. I don't know what Lewis did with his money or something like that. I think it's a it's a, it's a worthy man or something. But I feel like he wishes he was in Joshua's shoes right now. So this guy completely rode Joshua off. I remember when Joshua knocked out Pulev, and Lewis was saying, "No, nah, he, he 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 went all the way quiet. He he went quiet. He didn't say anything." But as soon as Joshua lost to Usyk, you see this guy everywhere. And now Joshua is back. He's saying, hey, "Is it really back?" Like everything Joshua does, he always questions Joshua. Like this guy, bitterness is just something else. I think he needs some Kool Aid, bro. He needs some Kool Aid. It's crazy. Louis T hitting on Joshua since 1905. What do you guys make of this right here? Because if I should if I should break everything down, believe you me, it will be it will be here like <laughs> you like for forty minutes. Well, because I have every I have I have the receipts, you know, of what occurred, what year, what month, what day. Because people close to Joshua that I interacted with, then you know they sent me all the stuff. You know, Joshua is just a guy trying to be great. Trying to become undisputed or three-time world champion. Lewis is the last undisputed world champion, right? But come February, uh, come February, that will go to another person. Lusik or Fury. And after that, we'll see who gets it. Because these fights are all intriguing. We need to see it. Stay tuned for my suit band right guys. God bless you for the support of the channel. What do you make of Louis statement? What do you make of his bitterness? Do you think he has he has there's some some truth in what he's saying? Or do you think you know he should shouldn't be a, a bitter soul? He should like take some Kool-Aid, you know, because the guy is an elder, so basically it is a real respect. But where I'm from if you're an elder, you need to be able to you need to guide the young the young stars. Encourage them. You know, if there's any misunderstanding, you try link up and you know basically be the bigger man. It is sad that Lewis is just one of those guys that will always have that thing you know against Joshua sad man hello guys God bless you all sure